What happened the day Casey found out about the human remains found just down the block from her parents' house? Today, the corrections officer who described how Casey reacted to that news faced tough questions from Casey's attorney. Meanwhile, we are learning one of Casey's former best friends will soon have to testify under oath. Mike DeForest is live at the Orange County Courthouse. Mike, do we know what was said during today's deposition? Well, Jose Baez would not release any specifics when he came out of the deposition room today, but he says it will be quite revealing when he finally does make that information public in a courtroom. Baez spent much of the day questioning that corrections officer who was with Casey the day her daughter's body was found. He also uh, interrogated the sheriff's deputy who later interviewed that jail worker. Everyone's going to be pretty surprised uh, as to what actually transpired. Jose Baez believes his client's constitutional rights may have been violated the day Kaylee's body was found. She collapsed into the chair and started to what appeared to be hyperventilating. Um, she lost her breath. We told her a couple of times, take some deep breaths. Orange County Corrections Lieutenant Tammy Unser led Casey Anthony to the jail's medical unit where surveillance cameras captured Casey's reaction to live TV news reports of the discovery. Baez believes Casey's medical privacy rights and her right to have an attorney present were violated when Lieutenant Unser relayed Casey's words to Orange County Sheriff's Deputy Philip Graves. I cannot comment on the case. As Baez conducts his depositions in the criminal case, Lawyers representing Zenaida Gonzalez and her defamation lawsuit against Casey are preparing to question a key witness in two weeks. Annie Downing is Casey's one-time best friend who used to live at the Sawgrass Apartments, the same apartment complex where Casey claims she left her daughter with a babysitter named Zenaida Gonzalez, and the same complex where this Zenaida Gonzalez filled out paperwork. Everything I knew or thought I knew about her was a lie. Some have speculated that Annie was Casey's inspiration for babysitter Zanny. Zanida's attorneys will likely ask about Casey's desire to be committed to a mental institution. There was one time I do recall her basically I mean, having an emotional breakdown. Mike, there's a chance that deposition with Annie Downing might not take place. Why is that? Well, that's right, because just two days before that deposition is scheduled, Casey Anthony's attorneys will be up in the courthouse right over here, and they will be asking to get that civil lawsuit thrown out. They say Zenaida Gonzalez's lawsuit is frivolous. Of course, Zenaida's attorneys say they're just trying to clear their client's name, and of course, Zenaida seeking more than $15,000 in damages. Reporting live at the Orange County Courthouse, Mike Forrest, Local 6.